Good day, everyone. You are welcome to JoJGI Solution Channel. We offer services in the following item listed on the screen. I am MNJ Adaviruku. Uh, today, I want to show you how to create slope map from digital elevation model in QGIS. Uh, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Help me grow this channel. Like this video and share. Thank you. So let's go to our QGIS interface. Now, let's bring in the digital elevation model we want to use. Just click on Add Raster. Let's navigate to where our data is. Let's use this Abuja one. Click Open. And here you click on Add. It has been added and you click Close. So this is digital elevation model covering Abuja, part of Abuja and even down to part of Kogi State. So we want to use this data to do digital, I mean, produce slope. But the first thing to do is that you have to check the coordinate system of this data. So you right click and go to properties. Under, you go to informations click on information see you realize that the coordinate reference system is geographic geographic so if you run it as it is now in geographic coordinate system if you use it to produce slope map in QGIS it will not give you a good result maybe we should try it and see because if you don't project it if you use it in geographic coordinate system it will not give you a result let's try it and see go to raster and you go to analysis you see slope slope so this abuja is here and uh here just click here uh let's say you want to save it let's save it as slope slope click save now click on run it will run but the result is not a good it will not be a good one because it is in geographic coordinate system. So in a few seconds, it will produce our slope. Okay, the slope has been produced. Click close. Click close. You see, this is our result, which is almost invisible. It's almost very looking very ugly because we use it when this data source is in geographic. So let's close this. Now, what to do? Since it is in geographic, you have to project this data, this digital elevation model. You have to project it. So to project it, what to do is that as it, you come to raster and you will see projection. You see, WAP project. So this Abuja, Abuja 1, which is our digital elevation model, this is the coordinates, uh, the input CRS. So here, this is the source. CRS, but the targeted CRS coordinate system, you click on this item, click on it, uh, uncheck this. Then here, Abuja is in UTM zone 32. So I have it here as part of my recently use. If it, you can't find it, just type it 32M, but here it is, click on it. So if you zoom in to that place, Abuja is around here and part of Kogi is around here. So it's UTM zone 32. So now that you have chosen that, you click on uh, OK. You click on OK. Now, here, you come here and save your data. Here, let's just save it as uh, reprojected. Reprojected. And click on Save and click on Run. So it will run and reproject this digital elevation model. Let's wait for it. Okay, it's done. You can now close. So you can now uncheck the former one. So this is the, our new projected digital elevation model. If you check the coordinate system now, you see that under information is now projected. So this is the one you, we will use to produce our slope. So now to run the slope, go back again to raster and you see our analysis. You see slope. 
then the input will be our projected reprojected and uh, let's just choose where we want to save it we are saving it as this time around let's say slope slope 2 to differentiate it from the former one we produce and you click on save and you click on run so when you run it it will take few seconds to produce your slope few seconds the next few seconds it should be done okay the task is completed you can now close this so uncheck this reprojected to see our slope see you can see our slope now that this slope is different from the first slope we produced this is the one we first produced that it was giving us a very blur uh, blur result this is the result but when we pro reprojected our them and produce slope this is the result now what to do now this is the one we are interested in right click and go to properties so bring this one up let's go to symbology then instead of single band gray let's use pseudo uh pseudo color then here let's choose uh magma and uh, instead of let's scroll down instead of continuous let's say equal interval you are choosing five classes and you say okay so you can see our slope slope map so this is how to produce slope map in QGIS using digital elevation model please remember to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching this video